Hey, let's take a look at a micro playset, uh, Micro Galaxy Squadron. This is the Mace Windu Jedi Interceptor. I love the Jedi Interceptors. It is my second favorite vehicle in the Star Wars unit uh, community or universe, whatever I'm trying to say here. Uh, we know that a few days ago, I went over this Star Trek micro uh, playset from the 90s. And now let's take a look at this one from just a few minutes ago when I bought it at the uh, Walmart. And uh, it's part of Series 5, evidently, where we have... Uh, I saw the barge up there. I saw the A-Wing fighter. I did not see this one. I would have picked it up in a heartbeat. And I don't remember seeing this one. So this may be like, maybe this is... Oh, their chase. All right, got you. So their chase vehicle is probably that one's for chase for that one. That one's a chase for this one. All right, Mace Windows uh, Jedi Interceptor is number 0103. And it's got some information here about how to put the uh, astromech unit how the wings come out. Now, it probably won't have like little pop out. Like I have a bigger version of not this one, but another one, you know, for the regular um, three and three quarter inch figures. But when it comes to spaceships and stuff, I'm really starting to gear toward this size because you can have more of them. I, I don't have the room for everything, especially not the big old Millennium Falcon or those bigger ships. But when you get the small ones, it'll be okay. So I'm trying to take it off nice and neatly off of this card. I like the card art in it. It's a pretty nice little art right there where he's attacking one of those. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of the prequels. I know you're like, well, what did you want this then? Um, because I do like the ships of the prequels. Well, the Interceptor. I didn't like the other ship that they flew, which I think was this one. I think this was either the first one they flew or the second one. Obviously, this is one and this is the other, but... I don't know which one came first, but this is the style that I really dig. I like how, and it probably did come second because it probably is more like um, for getting close to TIE Fighters, the way that the the wings come out. So taking a look at the ship just by itself, we got the wings that fold in. So you're going to have it looking a whole lot like that um, Transformers uh, version of, what was his name? Not Starscream. Um, yeah, Starscream. <laughs> My brain was having a fart. All right, so it looks a lot like Starscream in that mode, but then again, Starscream looks a lot more like it because it was not designed first, that this was designed first. All right, now I did have one of the older um, micro play sets from the 90s, or no, I guess it wasn't the 90s. I guess for this, it was the 2000s. And it, I think it was bigger than this. I'm trying to get this thing off of it right here. Let's see, we have some other little things that come out. So we have a landing gear. That's nice. So we got the landing gear and then you put these down for landing mode. Okay, and there's no buttons to make anything pop out. I'm trying to, oh, I see how to get it open. I thought I was gonna pull the front off as well, but you just pulled this off. Okay, or maybe not. Maybe I'm just imagining things. There we go. So we have the cockpit you can see where the pilot goes on the back we got some blue cyan paint details we got that bright popping purple i feel like this should be a darker gray though maybe i'm just imagining things let's see i wanted to see how much crossover there can be all right number one take the ship i don't think he'll fit i think his head's gonna pop up and hit it i mean can almost fit in there. All right, let's take Mace Windu and compare him in size to the Star Trek. Which of course, Star Trek always comes from her Star Wars, but chronologically speaking. It's got a little, um, I'm not sure what that's about, but okay. We got R4M6 is the name of the astromech. First, I want to take a look at the astromech. I feel like I need to zoom in because it's so... Wow, you can see my fingerprints. Somebody's gonna steal my fingerprints and use them to do biometric stuff like a spy. Yeah, then they go find out. Dude, I should put money into his checking account. He's poor. All right, so we got a little purple astromech with some silver paint on the top. And uh, I need, obviously, I feel like I need to get my cuticles done before I do this. Okay, so there's just a hole in the bottom. And then to put it in here, to my knowledge, they always face out. Could be wrong. Uh, let me look and see if there's any information about how to place the astromech. Oh, I'm doing it correctly. 
Okay, and then let's see Mace Windu out of the package. Okay, zoom. So he's like an original Star Wars figure. He only has about five points of articulation. Well, four technically is two arms, although they do go together, there's still two points technically. He's got a, well, okay, it appears to be a split, but I'm not, nope. Okay, so the butt joint right there, it's not two independent legs. It's um, kind of like the Polly Pocket dresses. Let's compare him to number one in Star Trek. He's shorter. Hey, shorty. Don't make me use my voice. Anyway. So, yeah, he's proportionally smaller and everything. So, can he climb aboard and ride in the Starship? The Excelsior... Well, of course he can. But looks like we won't be able to cross universes as much as I would personally like to do. I'd like to see Trek Wars. That'd be awesome. Let's get him put inside of this. Um, all right, so I'm trying to figure out where the thing goes when I'm trying to put it in there. I don't remember there being little peg holes on my original one. I think I had the yellow one, I think which was what, what um, Darth Vader after he was a kid for a while. Yeah, this had to be the last one because it became a Darth Vader ship and I had that Darth Vader one for a while. All right, so looking at this fine little details in it, it's nice. Let's see if uh, the astromech will fall out. Nope, he's holding on pretty tightly, that's good. So the wonderful thing about getting it and the micro scale is that when you're limited on space like I am, where my house is smaller than most people's living rooms, um, I'm not talking about my living room, I'm talking about my entire house. It's it's nice to have something that's smaller to represent something you enjoy. And plus, you can fly around your room going like this. And even maybe have the Excelsior, which would be in real life. <laughs> this is not proportional. Um, in real life, this ship would be massive compared to uh, this right here. I mean, it's more like they're not even in the same scale. Not even close. But you can, you know, when you're a kid, you'd probably like go fly around going pew 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 pew. Look how weird that is. But it's just weird right here. It's like the vacuum part of it's messed up. So comparing it back side by side. I know what you're asking. I already hear your voices in my head. Along with other mini voices. How long is it? Alright, we'll definitely give you that information. It is just under four inches, I'd say three and three quarters inch long ironically and the maximum width is about three inches wide for centimeters we already could probably do the math in our head we got about eight centimeters wide and then from um, tip to stern we got about 9.5 centimeters long all right so if you're looking for a space that you are wondering if i could fit this in that's your measurements. So yeah, I hope you can figure out how to fit it into your collection. Uh, let me know if this is one of the things you're looking for. I also saw some of those. They, they, I swear they look like Buzz Lightyear ships, but they're for the Mandalorian. And I saw those as well. I took pictures, but I forgot to put them on YouTube um, in the community section because you only get like five. So go to my Instagram to see pictures of that. All right. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day and keep collecting small. Small is better. Size matters not.